So in the last video, we built this arithmetic logic unit, uh, which is the circuit here, and it's designed to add or subtract the values from the A register and B register. And when we uh, connected the power uh, at the end of the last video, uh, I, I noticed right away that it doesn't look like it's working uh, totally correctly, right? Because uh, when it powered up, we had a zero in the A register and an eight in the B register, which is fine. The registers might power on with any value in them. Uh, but what I would expect to see is that zero plus eight is equal to eight, and instead, uh, what we're seeing here is, is a four. Uh, and then, when I uh, switched uh, from adding to subtracting, I'd expect to see a negative eight, uh, which is, uh, I think it's five zeros followed by three ones, and I'm seeing something, something different. So something's not working right about this, which, uh, you know, <laughs> frankly happens probably the majority of the time when you, when you build something new. And I thought rather than trying to find it myself and just like sw swapping a cable or something, whatever it is that fixes this, and, and then editing that in at the end, uh, I'd actually uh, go through uh, with you uh, kind of my thought process and how I, how I troubleshoot this. So since the last video, I haven't looked into this at all. I don't really know anything more than you do about what's working or what's not working. So I guess the, the first approach that I would take with this is, is just try to simplify things and, and just understand you know, what... Uh, what behavior the thing is exhibiting, um, and then try to narrow in on what's going on. So, you know, right off the off the top, it looks like maybe there's a, you know, a, a bit swapped around. So instead of the the fourth bit, you know, it ends up as the third bit. So you know, there's this connection over here, and then the connection over here. Maybe something got swapped. Uh, but then the the negating, you know, I, I'd expect to see something a little bit different there. So it's not super clear uh, that that's the issue. Uh, so. What, I, what I'm thinking as a place to start is just try and uh, you know, set both of these to zero. So I'm going to clear this. So that cleared the B register. And so now with the A register and B register is zero, uh, the output is zero. So that's, that's good. That's a good sign that zero plus zero equals zero. Now we can try, okay, good. Zero minus zero is also zero. So that's, that's what we'd expect to see. So now we could try some different values here. And you know, my my thought process here of, of just testing this, because I guess the first, the first thing I want to do is just test it uh, the different, in different ways to see if I can you know, isolate parts of the circuit that are working correctly or maybe parts of it that, that aren't working correctly. So my first thought is you know, the simplest part of this was uh, one, of the, one of the early parts that we built, which is connecting the A register to the adder. Um, so if we've got zero in the B register, then whatever's in the A register ought to show up in the output. So what I can do is, um, you know, put some value here in the A register. And remember what all these things are. So this should load the A register. Okay, so we loaded a one into the A register, and we see a one in the output. So one plus zero is one, so that's good. And I'm just going to try each bit. I think that's going to be the easiest. Okay, so the second bit is connected through, and just try the third bit. So that's connected through as well. So we're just seeing, you know, uh, this is four plus zero is equal to four. Um, and let's try the next bit. Okay, yep, next bit works. So we're just keeping the B register at zero, and we're just trying uh, different values in the A register to see uh, that it is connected correctly because you know a very easy way to get this wrong is to uh, is to it's just you know, if we've swapped our bits or something in here oh so that's interesting so here we have uh, what is a 64 in the a register plus zero we'd expect to get a 64 here but we're not so there might be an issue with this bit so let's try to trace this wire here right? Because this, this should be on. And actually, I'm going to get a multimeter over here. Yeah, it's as nice as, as it is having all these LEDs everywhere. Uh, sometimes just measuring voltages can be, can be really helpful. So I've got a uh, multimeter here, and then the probes are just these little clip probes that I have these wires attached to. So I can just hook my ground over here uh, somewhere, just connect it to my, to my ground. And then I can probe around with this and see what we've got. So go over here to volts. And so the LED is, should be connected to this pin here. And yeah, we're seeing some voltage there. And then that should come down here. 
follow this wire around. Looks like it's going to this pin here. And that pin is uh, so A3, so it's uh, one of the inputs here. And then the output should be coming from some, uh, what is this, pin 13, which is our, our output 3. And that ought to be going around here somewhere, and I'm not sure I see... I'm going to zoom in here, because I see this, this connection here. This is the, the input for this bit, and I believe... It's coming around, it goes under here, and then here into, uh, this is pin 14 on this uh, adder. So pin 14 is, is uh, bring this in, pin 14 is the A side of our, of our bit 3. So we have A and B, so uh, A and B, and this is going to add them and give us an output here. So that looks okay. But what I'm not seeing is the output here on pin 13. So pin 13 is right here. And I'm not sure I see anything connected to it. What should be connected to it is this, which of course is underneath everything. <laughs> and it looks like it goes... Well, where is this going? Is that going to 4? Oh, are these backwards? No. What is going on here? Ah, okay. I think I, I think I see it. It's kind of hard to, to see here, but let me see if I can trace this through here. So this is, yeah. So. <laughs> We should have the, this uh, this bit here, the 64 place, uh, or, or the you know this this bit uh, is connected here, and it comes in over here, and that that part looks fine. The output of that uh, bit of the adder is here, and what it looks like is that I've got it off by one one spot. So this this wire right here, you can see it going down here into this pin here. Uh, should be over on this pin, because this pin is supposed to be the output. And that wire, if we trace it around, goes underneath a couple other wires. But I believe that it comes around and is, and is this here. It's this pin. So I believe if I find that wire here, which is this one, and I just move it left one place here to this, and there we go. And now that, that output looks good there. So hopefully that is one problem. I suspect it is not the only problem though. So let me zoom back out and I'm gonna I'm gonna re retry all this stuff just to make sure we didn't mess anything up. So got the first bit, second bit, third bit, fourth bit. 5th bit, 6th bit, and then the 7th bit, which we just fixed, and then the 8th bit. Nice. Okay, so we, we found and fixed one problem here uh, with our, with our uh, A register connecting to the adders. Um, I suspect there is still another problem with the B register, because you remember when we started out, the A register was, was 0, so this, we wouldn't have, we wouldn't have uh, encountered this particular problem. So now we can try the same thing with the B register. So I will um, change it so that our B register is loading data from the bus, and then I can manipulate the value on the bus over here to load into the B register. Oops, nope, that's the wrong, that's our subtract bit. This is the B register load. There we go. Um, so again, now instead of you know a, a number plus zero, we're doing zero plus some number in the B register, and we can see if we can find uh, figure out if the B register is hooked up properly. So that's our first bit. Our second bit looks good. Third bit is off. And this is, okay, interesting. This is almost what we saw earlier. 
like earlier we saw when we had the fourth bit. So we're, we're somewhere we've swapped uh, the third and fourth bit. So yeah, if you look down here, when we've got the third bit on here, uh, we get the fourth bit on over here. So you know, it's saying zero plus four equals eight. And then if we have our uh, <clears throat> fourth bit on down here, then it's saying zero plus eight is four. So I think we've just swapped those two bits somewhere. Now it could be, uh, it could be here in the connection from uh, these bits down here to the XOR gates, or it could be from the XOR gates to the adders. Um, it actually probably doesn't matter. Well, we, we probably screwed up one of them, but we could probably swap it back on, on either of those as long as, it's, uh, as long as we have it swapped the right way around. But let's keep testing, see if we, see if we have anything else swapped while we're, while we're here. Uh, okay, so the fifth bit looks okay. The sixth bit looks okay. Seventh bit looks okay. And the eighth bit looks okay. So it looks like we just swapped these two. So, <laughs> oh boy, we have all this rat's nest. So let's, uh, yeah, let's see. I guess, you know, it probably doesn't matter where we screwed this up as long as we fix it somewhere. So maybe it's easiest just down here to swap these two, these two wires. So let me zoom in. Yeah, so this is the B register down here. Uh, and you can see these wires that, that kind of go up here are going up to our, X, or our, um, yeah, our XOR gates, uh, which, which is part of our negation logic that goes into our adders here. So I think the easiest thing to do is probably just down here where we have our third and fourth bits connected uh, up to here just to swap these, these two wires. So I'm gonna pull them both out. Well, I'm gonna pull that one out and then we'll just slide this one over to the left and then put this one back in over here on the right. Come on. Here we go. And so we just swapped those two. So hopefully that will, or well, I mean, I don't know why I wouldn't. That should, uh, that should fix what we're seeing. So if we zoom out here. So now we can try again and just see that all of these line up. So look at our first bit, second bit, third bit, fourth bit. Nice, they are in order. And fifth bit, oh, there it is. Sixth bit, seventh bit, and eighth bit. Okay, so now I'm, I'm reasonably convinced that we've got uh, all of our bits uh, in order, uh, which, which is you know, pretty good because all this mess here is... Uh, so now we could try uh, maybe a couple other things. Uh, so one, one thing we can try is just some simple arithmetic. So we can load a, maybe a two into here, and then let's load, there we go, a, uh, whoops, stop loading. <laughs> okay, so we've got a six in the A and then a two in, in the uh, B. So six plus two is equal to eight, that's good. And if we turn on subtract, we get six minus two is equal to four. So that looks pretty good. So that actually wasn't too bad. Uh, I, was, I wasn't too sure what uh, problems we'd encounter, but it looks like we've probably found, um, we probably found most of the problems. Uh, so it looked like it was just, we had uh, you know, one connection here that was just, and just plugged it in the wrong place, which is obviously an easy mistake to make. Uh, and the other was we, we had these two wires here, uh, down here swapped, which is also an easy mistake to make. Um, and I think it's pretty common that something, you know, certainly something complex like this, you know, the first time you build it, it's not going to work the way that you expect. And uh, an important part of, of engineering, um, maybe maybe the most important part, is you know having the the sort of persistence or tenacity to uh, to you know take a step back and uh, kind of work through and sort of systematically uh, try to figure out what what is or isn't working. You know, because at first it was like, well, it's adding these numbers wrong. What's going on? Uh, but thinking through, okay, well, let's try the simplest case of zero plus zero. And we got zero, which was good. We might not have, that would have been interesting. Um, and we could try our subtraction. So we could see that zero minus zero was also zero. Uh, and then working through each bit. And, and that, you know, maybe required a little bit of intuition of what the problem might be, or a little bit of, um, you know, maybe that came from some of my, my experience, just knowing that, um, you know, an easy thing to, to screw up here is getting 
you know, some bits mixed up, or if, or if one wire was off, then it would affect one bit. And so just, you know, methodically going through each bit on each register and making sure that uh, we got the expected result. And it's important to have a way of troubleshooting things that's methodical and, and where, you know, each thing you're doing gets you a step closer to, to better understanding what, what's going on.